Hey, hey, I'm out here on the Erie Canal. Just got dropped off in Lockport, right by Widewater's restaurant. This is Cold Springs Road. I'm gonna head to Gasport tonight and just do a quick overnight camping. And uh, it's, just, it's just gonna be maybe 12 miles round trip, about six miles there and back. It's supposed to get down pretty cold tonight. It's about 55 right now. Um, going with the current I'm gonna be coming back tomorrow against the current but tomorrow I'm not gonna be fighting against daylight so hopefully everything goes well got my got my Osprey bag full of stuff and then my back compartment has my my tent and my sleeping bag and my tarp and all that stuff so hopefully everything goes well um, I'm more concerned about getting in and out of the canal than anything. I didn't bring my fishing pole. I kind of wish I would have because I see a lot of fish hopping out of the water. I guess I should start paddling now. I don't know if you can hear them, but all those birds are so loud. There's some right there too. All right, so I'm, this is, uh, this is Orangeport Road. The next bridge up that way is going to be Gasport, Gasport Road. It's the bridge in Gasport. Um, along this section of the canal path, there's a bunch of 15 foot deep by 10 foot wide outcroppings that if you, if you use the bike path, um, you can camp there for free. But anyways, um, so I'm technically I'm technically in Gasport. I could pull off wherever I wanted and call it a night, but I'm only 3.9 miles in. Put my watch right there, my water jug, my wallet and phone, and my, my knife and all that stuff's in there in case I need it, but if I can't really see what, any reason why I would have to get to it. But the water, you know, water's pretty clear. The canal's about 10 to 12 feet deep. Uh, it's got rock sides. So climbing out's gonna be a pain. Hopefully I can set up a camera some way that I can film, even if I have to do it twice, uh, cause I'm excited to see how I do it. Right here, uh, you can kind of see it, right? Right there is one of those little outcroppings that you can camp in for bike packing. I know there's a couple more up along here. But that's the first one you come across when you're coming from the Buffalo region. Um, I'm going to go maybe another half mile and see if I can camp in that little park that nobody ever really uses. All right, I'm here. There's there's a couple small little docks. That's a drawbridge, so normal sized boats can go underneath it. But I think I can fit. I should be able to fit. All right, so I figured out how to prop my phone up. Can't really see nothing, but hopefully I should be able to see me when I go underneath the thing. I'm at four point. Seven five miles, so I think it'll be about five miles from where I started to where I want to be. I'd figured on six. I'd figured on six miles, but I don't know where I got that extra mile from. Maybe, maybe from when when we would do bike bike trips, we would go up the, up to the locks first and then then down. But I would think that would add more than a mile. So it might get a little loud because we're going to be going under a bridge where cars go. But we'll see. A lot of fish. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be able to go under this bridge without ducking or anything. But it's going to be very loud once I'm under it. Hopefully there's no cars that decide to go through the line there.
for a walk. Go up here to It's so loud. So these are the, the big gates that they use when they when they drain the canal. I don't exactly know how all that stuff works, but I know if you come through here between November and March, March, April, these are down. I'm going to camp up here. All right, so I've made it. That's all my stuff. Everything went smoothly, I hope. I think I'm gonna set up right near this tree because there's a lot of open area, but there's some brush right here. This tree starts raining. It's got a little bit of cover. And it's pretty flat right here. So I start setting up now. Camp's all set up. I got my, my tent sitting on my kayak. Got it covered in the uh, tarp. That way if it rains tonight, try to keep some of their water out. But I'm under this pretty big tree, so maybe that'll mitigate it as well. It's not supposed to rain, but you never know. Uh, the other issue that I've run into is that I forgot a fork or a spoon or not my Leatherman knife. So for dinner, I'm going to have this pork and wild boar stick. I'm going to finish off these Old Bay uh, sunflower seeds. And then that was supposed to be my breakfast tomorrow combined with a Cliff Bar for at some point. But I had a pretty big burrito for lunch four hours ago. So, you know, maybe that'll help tide me over. But it's getting pretty dark. Um, I'm excited. This is the first time I'm using this tent. It's the first time I've gone kayak packing. So it should be fun. It's the first time I've done any of this alone. I've never gone on a bike packing trip or camping alone. So, you know, we'll see. I've been talking to myself a lot. Alright, so, uh, got, got my little light. 
so I can see what's going on, but you know, there's not really much to see. You know, just my pillow and water bottles and stuff, but I'm all, I'm all set for the night. My wife came and she met me, because I'm staying in gas work, she, went, she met me and we went and uh, we had some chicken fingers. And that was about an hour ago. So. Now I'm sitting in here, it's all dark, and I'm just gonna watch some Netflix and then go to sleep. Wake up with the sun and get to, uh, get to paddling. Alright, so I just woke up. It's uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I had trouble falling asleep because I was a little too hot. It was supposed to be about 40 degrees last night. I ended up taking off my the uh, sweatpants I was wearing. Took off my sweatshirt, took off my hat. Because I was just laying, laying in my sleeping bag sweating. Didn't get comfortable. But uh, I'm going to get up and dilly dally for a little bit let the let the dew get off everything and then I'm gonna head back All right, so I'm back, uh, back on the path. Just got my kayak loaded up. And I'm heading out. It's uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning. I've been up for two hours. Started packing just under an hour ago. And uh, let's get to it and get home.
All right, all right, all right. I'm back at the uh, Erie Canal Lockport Boat Marina, where the dock is that I dropped in. And I uh, had a good time, quick overnight. These cars behind me are pretty loud. Quick overnight out and back. I think I could have enjoyed it more if my kayak didn't hurt my tailbone as much when I'm sitting on it. But other than that, aside from the lower back pain that I'm experiencing, I had a really good time. Cool.